At the end of the day, most people served by Alabama Power should have their electricity back on. At the peak of the storm, there were about 56,000 people without power in our region. News 5's Chad Peach talked with homeowners still living in the dark. Around Westmobile County, you could probably see a bucket truck or two. Power crews busy getting electricity back to homeowners like John Mims, who've been in the dark for almost two days. Like we're in the dungeon right now because um, it's like we forgot about down here. Right around the corner, an Alabama power crew fixed a down line that feeds power to neighbors on McLeod Road. It made me think about life can change on you any minute. And maybe we didn't get a little soft and it was a way to wake up and condition yourself that it could always happen here in the Gulf Coast. Being without power for two days is bad enough, but some neighbors around here say that they've been through worse. In Frederick, for weeks, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it's, it's very inconvenient, but uh, I thank God it's not in the worst than it is because a lot of people had it worse than we did. Some neighbors ran roaring generators to keep the lights on as they waited for Alabama Power to roll through their neighborhood. In Westmobile County, Chad Petrie, News 5. Well, Alabama Power officials say they're getting assistance from about 1,000 workers from utility companies around our region.